Oh, what do we got here? Verification. Train professionals, don't do this at home. It's morning. It's another day in the shop. But we're not going to be in the shop today. It's going to be a good day. We don't know what it holds, really. I think it's going to be fun. But yellow submarines ago, we're we're loaded. Trucks on the trailer. We got some boards. We got supplies. We got straps and we're ready. It's all kinds of stuff. We're headed to Canab to meet up with Merlin from Merlin's Old School Garage. He left at like two this morning in his tow truck with no heater. And it's, with no heater. It's 30 degrees outside right now. <laughs> Him and Jimmy are gonna be cold when we see them. And then we're headed to Lake Powell. Stay tuned for what's ahead. It's gonna be worth it. We'll take it for a ride. I think we got everything. I gotta get my uh, drink out of the freezer. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> she must be unlisted. <laughs> Name that movie. You ready? I'm ready. Off to Lake Powell we go. We've never, never done anything like I've this before. I've never recovered one of these before. They actually went and checked it out like a, three or four months ago. Look at that. Found it. Let's investigate. We're coming to get this boat. So this is going to be super fun and I think you guys are going to love it. All right, we're just rolling into Canab. Marlon texted, said he is just barely getting there. So, oh, oh wow. Holy. Whoa, that's a big old dump truck. Wait, they actually drove the record? I pulled. How did they? Looks like the adventure's already starting today. That's not supposed to look like that. I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> you guys warming up yet? Uh, we're starting to. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're it was up. 30 degrees at my house this morning. We saw that. How's like, the truck run? Good. Awesome. Good. No crazy noises or anything. Um, well, I can't hear them anyway. I was going to really. say, <laughs> I mean, you feel it. Exactly. You don't hear it. Probably, Probably deal. Uh, about 14 miles to the gallon. Oh, that's not bad. No? Yeah, well, the first time I saw it was over a year ago. So, so yeah. I think it's going to be good. I think we're, I really think we're going to be back here in no time. We're in a honey's parking lot here, grocery store. All right, we're putting boards on this trailer so that we can go out and recover the yellow submarine. Do not try this at home, probably. Perfect. We're gonna go find us a tire, and then adventure begins. I got a feeling this isn't the last tire we ruined today. Well, they're all, all four different sizes, so don't worry, you may still be in luck. <laughs> it's the only trailer we could come up with, so. Great line. Alright, tires loaded, let's go. Too fancy for this. So we got boards on, tires are on. We're race ready. We're gonna go try to get this trailer in one piece. That's gonna be a job. It's time boys and girls, let's go get us a boat. Let's do it. are that we try to pick this thing up and it breaks in half is my real concern. I think once we get it on a trailer, I think we're pretty sound and we can, things are gonna go good. I don't know, I've never done this before. Is that you talking to us? Yeah, we're airing down. 10-4, we'll do the same. This morning they were freezing. 
Now he's turning the air conditioning on. A little bit. Yeah, just a little. So we're uh, we're halfway to the boat basically now. This is where it gets interesting. So if we can drag the trailer to it and the trailer's in one piece when we get there, we got pretty good odds of getting it out of there. To our knowledge, nobody's really ever tried to do what we're doing today. I mean, most of the time when they do this, the stuff they drag out of here is going to the landfill, but our goal is to bring it back and rip it around the lake again. So we'll see how that turns out. I've had goals before that didn't quite happen, but this one, this one's gonna work. We're all just hoping that it's still there at this point, right? We haven't seen it for two months. Big items go through these roads. It's going to take a minute to get it out of here. This is it's a good part of the road, and it's not real good. This is where the, the crossings are going to get fun with the boat. Oh yeah. Man, I plowed the trail. It would be easier going back the other yeah. way. Now. <laughs> Looks like there's been a lot of people that have been out here since I was here last. If it's still here, we'll be to it. If, if it's still it's here. It's gotta be here still. It'll be here. I think it's gonna be right where we left there's it. There's no tracks. No, I think it's right where we left it. Like they've been parting it out. <laughs> it's there's okay. like parts all over the beach. <laughs> Look at that yeah. thing. I love it. Wow. Nobody's burned it. These parts are they're solid. Yeah. I took a screwdriver, like you said last time, and jabbed them, and they feel good. So worse or as bad or what do you think? <laughs> oh. <laughs> been a couple of months in the making but we've been trying for a month and a half now to get someone at state parks to tell us we can go get one boat now and it's been hard but we have phone numbers right here on this card that hopefully will help us out we're gonna find out right now hello this is Paul with Fab Rats I was told by the Park Service to give you guys a call exactly okay thank you very much Yep, see ya, bye. And there's so much red tape to jump through to get this done right and legal. Fingers crossed, we may be there. But it's made, we're here. We got Mater with us. He's gonna pick it up. We're gonna back under it and hopefully get it out of here today. We got a lot of work ahead of us, so we'll get going on it. You guys are probably wondering what the heck we're doing at Lake Powell trying to rescue this boat. We've been in a drought for probably, what do you think, three, four years? It's been a while. The lake just keeps getting lower and lower and lower. And as it gets lower, treasures like these start appearing. This particular boat has been in the water for we believe 30 years because that's the last time it was licensed. This has been under the water, just sitting in its little grave site. Now we can see it and we're gonna fix this along with the help of Merlin's old school garage. So, so Merlin's a pretty good boat expert. He's he's rebuilt lots of boats so we figured he would be the perfect person to help us 
get this boat back into shape. But this is the first time he's seeing it like in real life and not just pictures. So what do you think? it's it's pretty cankered out. It definitely looks like it's been an anchor at some point. <laughs> but honestly, it feels pretty solid. For being in the water for 30 years. Oh, we're gonna know here in a minute. For being in the water 30 years and the seat's still here and the battery's oh, still here. That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, that's just phenomenal. Like, yeah. especially under 100 feet of water. So, you, um, if you look at where that bathtub ring is. How deep this boat was, it was over 100 feet. Yeah. Get in, Paul, let's go. Let's get it. I'm ready. <laughs> Whoa! Somebody struck this. Hey, the hot foot's still in it. I didn't even notice that before. There's some stuff up in the front. Anything good in there, Hunter? Some life jackets. What's in the bags up there? I don't know. We're going to find out here in a sec if I can fit. Just think of it like as canyoneering, man. Canyoneering? <laughs> yeah, you're basically like in a skinny cave going for it. Okay, you might have to grab hold of my legs and jerk me out here in a minute. We got a toe strap. We'll pull you out. It's a yankum even, man. What if there's a snake in here? Bite its head off. I hate snakes. You bite its head off if it's in there. Snakes and spiders, man. What if there's both, Hunter? Dude, you're scared of bees. I'm not scared of them, I just don't like them. Well, I don't like them. <laughs> oh, sh there's a spider. No, there's a mouse. Ah! Is it alive? There's an alive mouse back here. Don't there's a you. mouse. We'll just get the bag and get out of there. <laughs> oh, sh there's two of them! <laughs> oh, it's oh, he's coming out! It's coming out! It's right there! Ah, there he is! Kill it! Here we go, brother! Get that bag full of here stuff! Here comes another one! Alright, bring it oh, out! Oh, here comes another one! Oh, yeah. there, there he is! <laughs> right there! Get it? Oh, shoot! Here comes another one! <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a life vest. Brand new, still in the bag. Oh, would you look at that? That thing's vintage. You know? I swear, if, there's any if you have this thing, you won't go down with the ship. Yeah, oh, if that gets on me, I swear. I feel safe now. Get out of here. Hey, little guy, where are you going? <laughs> Hunter's going to get the Honda virus. No, he's oh, not. Please, don't be anything else. This? Oh. There comes another one. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. No, no, <laughs> There's a lot more. <laughs> Climb out. We'll just get it. Oh. We'll we'll yeah. clean her out. Mark them later. Now that is that, cool. There you All go. Right. What is That's it? That's cool. Let's see. The spark plug rotted away and the porcelain insert okay. is all that's Came left. Out. Hey, are you bringing okay. mice out? Okay, yeah. Here you go. Ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Hold that. Good job, Hunter. A little teething toy. That is a throw. But it was in the boat. Throwable floaty. Sorry, Hunter, I sent you in for nothing, my friend. There was nothing in there, huh? It's a throwable floaty is all. It's worth it. I really think you should, like, wash your hands, though. Oh, you're going to be fine. Oh, Old baby medicine. In a glass bottle. That's cool. Like Tylenol or something. Old Tylenol. Oh. Oh. What do we got Identification. here? Identification. Huh. There you go. There's an ID. Let's see it. Right here. It's a health plan. It's an insurance card. So we got some baby sunscreen. I'm dying to know the real story how this boat went down. Yeah, how does it end up here? Yep. We know where it's at. We just don't know how I have, it got here. I have a theory, and Paul and I have talked about it's it. It's a pretty good one. And, you know... If you've ever been to Lake Powell when a monsoon rolls in, yep. it gets rough. And everything from that south side of the lake ends up over here, and the waves over here are overwhelming. We're going to find out. There is people that know what happened to this People boat. know what happened, and we're going to find them, and we're going to find out. You've lost 100 pounds out of there at least. Yeah, well, and I think that's from being underwater how that affected the integrity of the fiberglass, we uh, we won't know, but I know one thing, we will make this boat run again. You guys look, 
a Happy Meal toy. Like a vintage Even one when they, they actually made good McDonald's Happy Meal toys. That's awesome. Ben just found the tape player in it. We're gonna have a little game. We're gonna play a little game here and we're gonna guess what tape might be in the cassette. It'll probably be days to get it out, but one of your kids at home can take it out. Yep. 93. So, I'm going Death Leopard. Death yeah. Leopard? Yeah, that's it. Van Halen. Nirvana. You guys are all rock Hunter cards, doesn't huh? even know what we're talking Taylor about, Swift, right? Taylor Swift, Katy Perry, Katie Perry <laughs> you know. Ben? Taylor Swift. Yeah. Was she even born? She wasn't even born. Then. I was yeah. going with the good Metallica, but you know. Yeah, that's, that's a good that's guess a too. Hitter. That's, that's a good guess. That's a solid. I'm going to think about this one for a minute and do a little research on 1993 and get back to <laughs> Wait, that's cheating. That is that's cheating. I have to know what was popular. How old were you in 93? I was a third grader in 93. Okay, just to put things into perspective for you guys, in 1993, I was in the third grade, I believe. Paul was like I in. Was 13, so. So probably a seventh grader. Yeah. How old were you? Uh, I don't even remember. I don't 25. want to think back that far. <laughs> Merlin's old. Hunter thinks we're old. Merlin's real old. 22 ish. You were older than that. Definitely some metal that works there. Oh, yeah. There, it's, it's, it's metal in the. It's, the tape player is definitely some metal group. I don't know. He might be a country. He might a be a country. Like this, he's not a country Pam. guy. That's right. That's true. Not. That's true. <laughs> country was for line dancing in '93. Yeah, that's right. Not that for is, boating. That is yeah. true. That's if he was on Lake Powell with boating music, it was rock. Oh, I, I can't it. wait to find out what this tape says. So Alan from Yankum Ropes came through just in the nick of time. Gave us some new soft shackles. They're gonna come in clutch here. We hope. Oh, oh they can. There's a couple. So the plan is Merlin's going to lift it up and Paul's going to put the trailer underneath it. That's the plan. professional don't do this at home yeah so there is no holes the bottom of the boat looks good so yeah perfect that's nice that is right where it's, it's perfect that's the uh Everything. Got it, guys. That's it, just perfect. That wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> Plug's still in it. <laughs> Plug is that still in it. I wondered about that. That was the million dollar question. Yep, Plug that is, was. Plug what does is that in mean? the boat. That well, means it didn't sink that means because they forgot the plug. Uh, that that means, means that it wasn't sunk by accident. There's a story behind yes. this boat sinking. There was a there was a uh, natural disaster that created this boat to land here. Yep. Let's load it up and get out of here. We clean her up, we're out. Last of the trash in there. Was it easier than you thought? It actually was. I figured getting here we'd have more trouble. We'll see how getting out is, but. Yeah, we're only halfway. I knew the wrecker was the key to the whole thing, being able to pick it up and just set it on the trailer. That, that was huge. Can you imagine trying to jack that? And drag it up on oh, the rollers, yeah. dry terrible. wood. Oh. Terrible. Yeah, all that dirt. It'll be like, well, I think it's going to, hey, I can't wait to hear it run. Awesome. How cold's Havasu in December? Um, it's chilly, but you know. But Hunter can water ski behind this, you think? He's young. I think he can. He's young. I think it'd be good. Got it. That ain't going nowhere. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta do that. Oh yeah. yeah. That'll ride. That'll ride. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll follow you because we're gonna need help, I think. No more boat. Got it? We got it. Left her clean. We're loaded up and uh, away we go. 
I didn't realize the plan was for us to drag the boat out, but apparently that's the plan. Yeah, I think we're gonna need Mater's help up there. Not to be confused with Trail Mater, there's two of them. That one's Mater, Merlin's Old School Garage, he has Mater. Rory, with Moab Motorsports, has Trail Mater. So don't get them confused, both Dudley wreckers. Super capable, pretty close to mine. I mean, mine's a little better, but <laughs> no, they're both good, so. I just grenaded a hub. Sounds like it. I think I broke a hub. can take it at 60 now. Perfect. Be some collection. All right, well, I guess we got to put the one tons in this thing now. She's broke. Are we going to make it out of here? We got a tow truck. We got to make this thing clear to Glendale. Bad. Bad. Might not turn the hubs out. All right, let's see if we can make it out of here in two wheel drive. We got this. Mm -hmm. No clutch. <laughs> Thirty-sevens and a forty-four did not like each other. Guess we'll test the yank them out today after all. Well, that's why you bring them, right? That's right. developing evidently I don't know what it is it sounds like it's in this area down underneath I think it's fine it should be good <laughs> they make transfer case in a bottle we'll have to look into that oh my gosh good thing Merlin's coming our way I'm gonna have my thumb out is it legal to tow us in the truck <laughs> I did not expect this to go down with the truck today I did not are you gonna pull over I'm, wa I'm wondering if we should Sounds like something's hitting the drive line. Yeah, smells thing. funny. Or somebody farted. What did it do? The old tacos it. giving up the ghost. Broke a tranny man. Hey. Giving up the ghost. Is that rear end hot? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. What is it? The rear end's dying. Like the clutch is coming apart. Oh my gosh. Limp home. It's horsepower leaky now. Yeah, we're leaking horsepowers. We just uh, made her to KNAB and uh, she's not broke completely yet. So we'll drop Michelle and Ben off. They'll grab the Duramax and the trailer and 
we'll head for home, see if we can make it. So far, so good. I think you're going to make yeah, it. I think we're going to make it. We made it home. Didn't break down. Everything seems to be good, so. Pretty good day today. The boat came out way easier than we thought it was going to. Wouldn't have been so easy without the tow truck, though. It turned out awesome. So, next thing, we'll drag this home. We'll clean it out. We'll put some tires on the trailer. And then we'll take it to Havasu to him. And he's going to make this thing run and float. A happy day today. <laughs> yeah, it's a good day. I got me a boat. Next time you see it, we'll be cleaning on it. We got some pretty exciting news. So. We've been working with our local sheriff's department and we gave them the VIN number off the boat. They have tracked down the owners of this thing. They're still alive. So there's a chance that uh, we may find the real story out of how this boat got to the bottom of Lake Powell. And it changes everything because now maybe these guys will want to come back out and check their boat out and see it and uh, take it for one last rip again. Next time on Operation Yellow Submarine, there was a bet a while ago on the tape deck. No Shut God. up!